New marvelous and revolutionary discoveries about photon. 1. Photon must have constant rest mass. 2. A new explanation for the equivalence of the wave particle duality of photons. 3. A new equation for energy of photon and the ever persistent equality equation. 4. A new explanation for the colorfulness of photons. 5. One to one correspondence between wavelengths and domain or equivalently the helical or sinusoidal motion of photons. 6. A new explanation for the warmth of red light and the coolness of blue light. 7. A new explanation for double helical motion of photons. 8. Photon or the same string. 9. Photon, the primary building block of electron, proton, and neutron. 10. A structure of electron. One, photon must have constant rest mass. The photoelectric effect proves that the light must consist of particles. And on the other hand, the wave nature of light was shown through the double slit experiment of Thomas Young. In this experiment, we could observe the interference fringes that justify the light as a wave. But we know that the constant mass of the electron was proven an electron, like the photon has interference fringes in the double slit experiment. Therefore, there is at least one example that a particle with constant rest mass has interference fringes in the double slit experiment, and the removal of constant rest mass for photon is not a good solution to answer the observance of interference fringes in the double slit experiment. In other words, the photon is the smallest, lightest, and fastest with a constant rest mass particle in the universe. Two, a new explanation for the equivalence of the wave particle duality of photons. Since the electron is the photon generator and the electron is rotating around itself and around the nucleus, the emitted photon from the electron should have the effect of these rotating motions. So, the photon has a three-dimensional motion, including a transition movement and a rotary motion, and it traverses in a helical trajectory in three dimensions. It means the photon rotates around its central axis with a radius of r while it is moving. By using this definition, we have wave-particle duality at the same time, a particle that moves wave-like. Three, a new equation for energy of photon and the ever-persistent equality equation. On the other hand, it is necessary to pay attention to the fact that the calculation of energy by Planck's method is an experimental calculation concerning the scattering of light on the black body and the calculation of change of temperature that naturally a quantity of energy is absorbed by the black body. In this method, which is an experimental and laboratory method, there is a mathematical method which is as follows. The photon that emits from a source and whose energy decreases, what remains of it is the same energy that Planck has calculated. The energy calculated by Planck equals initial energy minus energy consumed on the way because of rotation. Four, a new explanation for the colorfulness of photons. In Saleh theory, the distinction of spectrums is due to the gyro radius and its changes induce colorfulness, light color. In fact, the increase and decrease of the gyro radius construct different spectrums. Therefore, in Saleh theory, the distinction of spectrums is due to the gyro radius and its changes induce colorfulness. Five, one-to-one -one correspondence between wavelengths and domain or equivalently the helical or sinusoidal motion of photons. 
In Salih theory, the intensity of light is equal to the total number of photons in an area unit and the amplitude is the same as the gyro radius. So, the increase of the gyro radius means reciprocally the widening of the wavelengths. For example, the long wavelength of the red spectrum is a result of the high value of its gyro radius r, while for the blue spectrum, it's the opposite. Six, a new explanation for the warmth of red light and the coolness of blue light. The red spectrum has a lower frequency than the blue one and according to the Planck and Einstein energy formula, the red spectrum has less energy and less mass than the blue one. But there is some contradiction here. A. Although a red spectrum with the same intensity has less energy than the blue one, it is visible from a greater distance. It means a photon with less energy could travel farther. B. Being warm means having more energy, but the red spectrum with less energy is warm and the blue one is cold. Seven, a new explanation for double helical motion of photons. The genetrix of photon is the electron and the photons emit from the electrons and continue on their trajectory. Therefore, the trajectory of each photon depends on the type of motion of its source, the electron. Electron has two main motions, around the nucleus and around itself. On the other hand, the photon also has a rotational motion around itself. When a photon emits from an electron, its motion is the resultant of these three types of motions. Photon obtains its wavelengths from the motion of electrons around the nucleus. The combination of the rotational motion of electron around itself and the rotational motion of photon around itself creates a zigzag-like motion in a closed ring, which can be called the internal motion of the photon. Therefore, the photon must have double helical motion. Eight, photon or the same string. As a result, the motion of a photon when leaving the electron can be divided into three motions. One, rotational motion around itself with one degree of freedom. Two, zigzag-like motion in a closed ring or internal motion with five degrees of freedom. Three, external motion with five degrees of freedom. Therefore, each photon can have a motion with five plus five plus one degrees of freedom, which in fact can be said that the photon is the string as we mean. Nine. Photon, the primary building block of electron, proton, and neutron. Superstring theory is an attempt to explain all the particles and fundamental forces of nature in a single theory by modeling them as vibrations of tiny supersymmetric strings. If we assume that the smallest massive particle that constructs the whole universe is such tiny supersymmetric strings or consists of several tiny supersymmetric strings, it can be seen that Electrons, protons, neutrons, etc., as basic subatomic particles, are also composed of these particles. Now, assume that electrons, protons, and neutrons consist of these smallest massive particles. Surely, the difference between the constructions of them is described with the numbers and positioning of these smallest massive particles that we named angel photon.
10. A structure of electron. Given that an electron is the birthplace or even the genetrix of the photon, one could say that the structure of an electron consists of the photons gathered together, but how they are positioned. Indeed, the photons turn not just around themselves, but also on the surface of the imaginary sphere of electrons on a spiral trajectory. They cover all the surface and get emitted very easily. There is no difference between electrons. Therefore, their structure must be an array of photons that rotate on the surface of an imaginary sphere without any central core. 